OP finds out his fiance cheated on him. With his son. Obligatory, not my main throwaway, in case anyone I know sees my details. I was a young dad. Me and my now late wife had my son before we were even 17. She sadly unalive suddenly at 22, not long after we got married, and I've been a single dad since. It's been tough, but I think up until this I did my best. I haven't really had time to have any relationships until I met her. I threw myself into being a dad and concentrating on my business. I'm not saying I've been a monk, I just haven't had anything serious. There was never anyone serious enough to introduce my son to. But just under three years ago, I met AJ. I wasn't expecting it, but before long, I was head over heels. The first six months or so were more casual, but when we realized we loved each other, we made it official. I was even planning to ask her to marry me next month on her 26th birthday. I was even going to ask my son to be my best man. I didn't introduce them at first due to not being sure how he'd take it, so we waited a while. But since they met last year, we've all hung out, and everything was all good. Granted, this year they haven't seen each other much due to lockdown and him being at university, but I didn't think anything of that. I could see her much thus last month due to lockdown again. However, I've noticed that as the past couple of weeks have gone on, she's been a bit quiet and moody. I've asked her, and she put it down to being overwhelmed. Likewise, I have noticed my son being a bit withdrawn, but I assumed he'd been busy with university. When I finally saw her again this weekend, I really noticed, so I called her out on it. She broke down and admitted she cheated on me. Just like that. I was shocked. So I was trying to get it out of her, and she admitted it was with my son. Just before lockdown started in November, she was out with her friends, and she bumped into my son in the pub. They got pissed, shared a taxi, and ended up drunk and effing. I basically threw her out there and then said I never wanted to see her again. She was begging me, pleading, making a scene, and everything. I then asked my son to come over, and I confronted him. He admitted it's true, it's a huge mistake, and he's begging me to forgive him. I've told him he needs to stay at someone's house and don't want to look at him anymore. He's at my mom's. I haven't told her what he did, but she knows it's serious, seeing as how close we have always been. She's been ringing me, sending me emails, texting me, begging for another chance, and so has my son. I've packed up her stuff that she left here and left it in her front garden in a bin bag. I've even chucked her Christmas presents, I've got her too, let her enjoy them early. I'm absolutely distraught. They're the two people I love most in the world. I wanted to marry her, maybe have kids, and spend my life with her. Likewise, he was more than my son. He was my best friend. I sacrificed so much for him to give him an amazing life. And they've both stabbed me in the back in the worst way. I don't think I'll ever forgive them again. They're welcome to each other as far as I'm concerned. I feel so hurt. Edit. I forgot to add that I've got myself booked in at the clap clinic. If I can't trust her to not cheat on me once, who knows how many times she's done it. Is there anything to do here on Reddit? Or is that the best course of action? Cut them off and move on. Edit. For everyone saying next time, there's going to be no next time. I'm done with women, love, relationships, everything. Further edit. God, I miss my wife tonight. She should have been the one and only woman for me. They'll never make them like her again. TLDR, my girlfriend cheated on me with my son and came clean. I threw her out, told my son to leave, and I never want to see them again. The comments were divided. Some people were supporting OP, others were calling him naive for dating someone almost the same age as his son. But they also made good comments with advice on how to proceed. The majority seemed to believe that his relationship was doomed, and he definitely needed to seek therapy for him and his son. Update I wasn't originally planning to do an update because of so many abusive comments and texts received last time. But on the other hand, I had so much support that I thought I'd update those who have been supportive. So, I basically met up with AJ. I asked her the truth, what went on, and was there anything else going on previously. She was really passionately saying no. It literally was a case of her having a drink with her friends. And my son was in the pub, and they got drunk together. When they were sharing a taxi, he admitted he liked her, made a pass, and that was it. She was saying things like she'd never do it normally, but because he hadn't seen me for a little while and he reminded her of me so much that night, it just happened. I told her to stop blaming the booze or anyone else, and she needs to own it, no one else. I was also honest with her, that she's the first person I've let in and loved since my ex-wife unalive, and I've been happier with her in the past three years than I was for years before that. I told her I was even going to propose to her. She broke down, telling me again how sorry she is and asking me for another chance saying that she'll never forgive herself. I told her she needs to one day so she can learn from this, but that's it for us. I'm blocking her email, and I don't want any contact again, so I left. I feel much better for meeting her, and as devastated as I am, 
I do feel like that's a bit of closure. Simply to see that I don't really hate her but actually pity her through not being able to control her alcohol or keep it in her pant. It's cost her a relationship with someone she cares about and likely will affect her relationships for years to come. Not that I don't think she's any less responsible or deserves the outcome. It also helped me to truly see how immature she is. Before this, I was blissfully ignorant because I was happy. Now, it's made me really conscious of it. Never again. Now, my son. I realized the other day when I made my post that I was very angry, and the way I was typing, it seemed like it was going to flat out disown him. But let me stress that he's my son, my flesh and blood, and I love him dearly. He's also my wife's son, and I could never just get rid of him for her. But he has let me down and really hurt me massively, and I have lost not just all respect but also all trust in him. So I met him also and heard his side of the story. It was largely the same as hers, but the difference was that he said she was being really flirty with him, and she said he really reminded her of me. And that's when he told her he had a crush and made his move. I told him what I wrote out above, that I love him but have no respect for him or can trust him anymore. I also told him about my plans, that I was going to propose to her and even have him as my best man. He was gutted, just really silent, and started crying. I told him we need to have no contact for a while. He needs to get a job and not work with me at weekends like he does at the moment. And we need to talk to my folks to see if he can stay with them for a bit. But in order to do so, I want him to be a grown-up and tell them why to their face and deal with it as a grown-up. So I drove him there and made him tell them. They were devastated. Not just upset, but the look in my mom's eye, I'll never get over that. She told him how disappointed she was in him and that she never thought he'd do something like this. I asked her if he could stay there for the foreseeable future, but not for free. He has to pay his own way, proper board, contribute towards the bills, but also his own food. She agreed out of respect for me. I also sat him down and showed him that I'd transferred over a large amount of money and explained that was the money I was saving for a Jay's engagement ring. But seeing as what's happened, I want him to have that as a reminder and to use it to pay his grandparents' rent if nothing else. He was absolutely stunned at that, trying to give it to me back. I told him if he does that, we are definitely done. We've agreed on no contact at least until Christmas, and then we all could spend Christmas together. I've been largely reflecting on the past few days, mainly on me and why I went for a J in the first place. I was extremely flattered when she asked me out, even though I'd never normally consider anyone that young. But in hindsight, she was the same age as my wife when she unalive, the same ethnicity, and she even did the same sort of job. So I guess I went for it because she was like my late wife. Which, honestly, makes me really sad. I know I can't blame anyone else for that. But it also makes me realize that she was only my second ever serious relationship in my life. Imagine that a 37-year-old guy having those little relationships with a girl 5 years older than my son is a huge chunk of my relationship experience. It also makes me miss my wife massively. I've been just having a bit of me time the past few days, having an Alan Partridge marathon. That was mine and my wife's favorite thing to watch together. It helps me feel close to her when I'm down. Edited to add, I'm seeing if I can get in touch with my old therapist, whom I was seeing after my wife passed away, and make an appointment with him. I might see if he can take my son on too. Edit, a few people have pointed out that we might not be able to see the same therapist due to a conflict of interest. I didn't think of that, so maybe I'll get a recommendation from him for someone else who is suitable. Thank you. I definitely need to work on myself before I ever date again. I think I have too many issues to be a good partner at the moment. And if, when I do, I'm not dating anyone her age again. I think I'll do a strictly 80s policy of only going for people born in the 80s and definitely no one born after 1989. Thank you, and my apologies for the wall of text. TLDR, confronted my son and ex. Cut contact with her and am having space from my son until at least Christmas. I am working on myself and reflecting. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of story, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.